and here we are once again bringing you poetry original from Lord Reza and so we shall begin <laughs> Oh, here we are down in the lair once again to share with you some original poetry that may someday become part of one of my music projects. But for now, they go on as just scribes. So here I will share them with you just in case they never do make it to a metal song. And uh, most of these were written in jail. The year 2015 it was, in the Bosco in New Hampshire, where I spent my county year re-planning uh, the last half of my life, perhaps the last decade, as I should hope it will be no longer, for that is all I can stand in this world, and even less. So... Here we are with this one. From overseas come predatory winds. Yes, this was written in my jail cell. As will all the other more recent poetry. Now five years old or more. But uh, I haven't written anything in any time more recent than that because I hadn't had much reason. Some of these songs became part of the lyrics to my last EP that came out only last year from Graveside Service. The album was called Beings Born of Night. And uh, it was six tracks, I believe. Only four actual songs. Others just intro and outro. But check it out. It's on Shattered Pentagram Productions. And you could order yourself a copy. But for now, here we are with overseas come predatory winds. Ah, yes, this one takes place in Boston, 1864. A very good year, as I recall. <laughs> From a midnight blackened with hate overturned. Just as a rifled grave of a gypsy hung and burned. A doer of deadly deeds takes to his nightly sojourn. Bedecked in tools of his trade all of which he had made. The Boston Butcher, a name he well earned. Once a boy raised in terror, tortured by his father, a mason. One day his father was found bloated and floated face down east along the Charles River Basin. Now left to his own devices, instruments of pleasure and power through pain, set out to seek victims to fulfill his vices, to inflict the suffering of a mind gone insane. This is the motion of a mind going insane, if you're wondering. But I'm already beyond that, because we're on to the next line. If I could find it, cause I've lost my place. Oh, here we are. And so sets the scene, a torrid tale of obscene. A terrible story rife with woe and worry. And a terror so gory. Gaslit lanes, bloody red bricks glare, flowed from severed veins of bodies laid bare. 
The paper tried to keep it quiet. What soon would follow? Unsolved murders so heinous. Deeds of rape and of slaughter. Hushed words of a daughter. A knife lodged deep in her anus. But such news could not keep quiet. And soon came the riots. Bostonians cried for justice for the slain. Screamed for the head of a fiend. Screamed for the head of a fiend. Who as of yet had not been named. Though as seasons shifted, somehow sifted, slow as sands through the hourglass, so had the reports of Hara seemed to be relegated to our past. No worrisome words of the whereabouts of a ghoul who had left our city aghast. Then... In the year of 1888, the city could once again sedate. When word of worry reached our shores from the isles of fair Great Britain, seems a rash of rape and murder had descended upon the United Kingdom, London, England. A sigh of relief blow unto the Boston Gazette. From many a relieved brow, Beantown's simultaneous notion from across the Atlantic Ocean, the Boston Butcher is their problem now. <laughs> Good stuff. How do you believe you enjoyed that, my little friend Mordor? Mordorian. Oh, my little pet. Oh, how I love you. <laughs> you fill my days with joy and my nights with pleasure. <laughs> we won't get into detail. But we will leave on a very good note. Here I have the Christian Bible. Here I have the crucifix. That poem was written when I was a heathen, godless, as it were. So don't believe I would write any such thing as it is that way, but today. No! But I'm not afraid of my past, and I will still show old artworks. Anything, there's only a couple pieces I destroyed that really insulted my religion. But otherwise, I'm still a horror fan, I'm still a horror creator, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Holy moly, it's my pug Dio. I keep him as a little page uh, holder. So here I have the Bible. Here I'm going to um, make a habit of uh, ending each uh, session with a little quote randomly chosen from the Bible. Dear Lord, what wisdom will you give us to end off this horror poetry of original works by Razor Rekha? What would your word be, dear Lord? Please speak your wisdom unto us and I will look randomly and see one of the sons of Joada son of Alicia the high priest had married a daughter of Sambele the Horonite so I banished him from my presence well, I hope he didn't mean me well, let's, 
Let's end it off with one more. Remember them, O oh my God, for they have defiled the priesthood and the solemn vows of the priests of the Levites. Well, not quite uh, words of wisdom that we could take away, but um, maybe next time. There'll be more uh, just like this. So I and Mordior will um, now leave you to your devices. And the curtain of death once again drops on you, my friends. God bless and be safe in these dark times.